What's up, y'all? School of Rap. I'm thus far. This is lecture four. And today we're covering artistic direction. So basically deciding if you're going to be, you know, doing music as a hobby or a career. Because for that matter, deciding that determines a lot of what you're going to do or how you're going to approach your being an artist. Like, <clears throat> if you're deciding it's going to be a passion simply and it's like, it's not going to be a career that's something that you want to make, you know, a full time living then what you're gonna invest financially won't be the same. Like when you decide, okay, this will be a career, you're, st you're back during in studio time, music videos, engineering, uh, it's all type of expenses that come with being a rapper, but the first decision to make when deciding to be an artist is artistic direction. You know, whether this will be something that's just a hobby, you know, garage band type thing, or I'm trying to take it global and get anybody and everyone to listen to me. That's a whole different mindset when you're making music. But I think in terms of being an artist, it's always best to start there and decide, am I just trying to uh, impress myself or grow myself or am I trying to start a new career? Because when you decide that, then you can decide the plan, the strategy, how you're gonna achieve what you wanna achieve, the steps it's gonna take. Everything will follow the decision, that first decision, which is, am I an artist? Or is this just something I play around with? Because even still, if you're just playing around with it, you can take it to a high level. You can craft yourself, make yourself better. You can understand music more. So even if you don't decide to make it a career, you can also just have a great passion and it's something you love to do when you have time. And for me, it was a passion that morphed into a desire that I had that I wanted to make into a career. So it was just something I enjoyed doing until time passed and I realized, well, I could take this to a, a professional level because I enjoy it a lot and people enjoy my music. The best way to decide if this will be something you're doing for a career is deciding how much you really want to invest of yourself. Not only money, but time. Like how much will I be dedicating myself to this day to day when I make money, how much am I allocating to recording, getting photos done, music videos? It's all a decision and it's all connected because I feel like it'll be a domino effect. Once you decide I want to make music for a living, you put way more time into it, you put more money into it. But when you decide I just want to make music, it's less thoughts, it's less, uh, it's less investment and it's less risk too because if you say that you want to do something as a career, it's a potential chance that it won't pan out as you think and you'll have to revise and refine your plan until you, you know, achieve the level of success that you desire. So deciding if this is a hobby, a passion, how much I'm going to invest, um, where I'm going to take it, who I want to be to the world. That's the first decision you should make as an artist. That way, you know, and you have the clarity in mind to achieve what you want to achieve. The best thing when deciding also, outside of how much I'm going to invest, is thinking about the time at hand. Like how much time you have to accomplish the things you want to accomplish. Even though time is a concept, you do want to accept in your mind that, okay, it takes years to achieve some things. It takes months to achieve one step. But for you, it, it might take shorter or longer. Everybody's journey is different and level of success and the things they obtain are different. But you want to put it in your mind that, okay, if I'm thinking of being successful in music, it could take years. This could take years to reach the level I envision, like the rappers I listen to, you know, to have the streaming numbers, to have the support and the backing for people to want to sponsor you. It takes years to achieve that success. But if you say, I just want to rap, I'm going to put out music locally for my friends to enjoy, my family to enjoy, that's a little less pressure off your shoulders because now you just have to make music that's suitable to you and that you just embrace enough to put out and with that it's like take a little time and decide where you want to go who do you want to be in music so you can then give yourself a chance to really achieve something because now you have the proper work ethic you have the proper understanding and perspective for what you're trying to do am i trying to just rap on the side am i trying to be a full-time artist that determines a lot it's almost like deciding if i want to just go to the park to play basketball or i'm trying to make the nba even though that goal depends on age and a different level of variables. It's still a decision you have to make consciously. Like, is this something I want to do? Is this the life goal I have? Or do I just enjoy music? Because there's nothing wrong with just enjoying music. But deciding whether you want to make a career or you just have a passion in your heart is the first place to start. 
And for me, when I decided that over time, it made it easier to be a creative. It made it easy to maintain my vision artistically. It made it easier for me to accept that trial and error is part of being an artist. So when you're deciding where you wanna go as an artist, decide what it means to you to make it there. Whether this is a road to riches or I'm just taking a stroll and making music. That's the best thing you can do before launching yourself on this journey. So decide whether this is just a passion or this is something you aspire to create into a full-time career. And that will propel you in your artistic journey. So that wraps up lecture four. It's not much to find an artistic direction. It's just sitting with yourself, reflecting and thinking about what you want to achieve in music. And that all is dependent upon you as an individual. So that wraps up lecture four. Next lecture is lecture five. Thank you.